this is Chennai. After the riots in Little India in Singapore, some of the Indian workers were sent back to India. What are their histories and their faiths really like? And what are their lives really like in India? Now we'll take a look at their stories here. In Chennai, you can see a lot of slum areas and beggars on the streets. The houses are very small and the poverty rate in Chennai is very high. There's very few 7-Elevens and shopping malls that you can see on the streets. So the people really have to be very ingenious in how they live and survive in India. Life is actually quite harsh for them. I mean, it's you understand why they would want to go to in Singapore to work, even if even if they are treated badly by their employers or if they are given low wages. How do you like the hundred rupees haircut that I just had this morning? This is about two dollars sing. What is the cheapest haircut in Singapore? I think it's three dollar eighty cent. Bedok or something. So we spoke to quite a number of people in Chennai and asked them about why they want to come to Singapore to work or why they don't want to come to work. So we have been given the understanding that they have to pay like more than five thousand dollars in order to come to Singapore to work. In other words, probably in a typical two-year contract, the first year that they work, or most of the wages actually goes back to paying for the fee that they paid to come to Singapore. Uh, in I, um, we, we spoke to a person, a uh, waiter yesterday, and he's, he's earning $7,000 uh, every month. It's 7,000 rupees every month, so that's about 150 Singapore dollars every month. Um, and then if you compare, for, for his job, he goes to uh, Singapore, the same position, he will get about 600, that's about four times more. So you can understand why there are some people in India, even though the life is very hard here, they will choose to go to India to work, even though they know that they might be abused by their employers, or they might not get the same benefits. So sometimes they have to pay $7,000 agent fees just to go to uh, Singapore, but they will do that because they still earn a higher income. And if they go to America or Canada, they can earn $1,000 Singapore dollars. See, as night time falls, the street comes alive with people in Chennai. Um, as people are rushing home, so again, it's Chinese. Uh, it's New Year's Eve today, and I think people are making preparations to go to parties. They're trying to rush on their way home. But you can see that there's uh, uh, orderly haphazardness in uh, Chennai, where even though. You know, to uh, Singaporeans it might be very messy, but to Chen the people in Chennai, they have gotten used to this uh, uh, haphazardness and they function pretty well here. Um, the, the way the roads are, even as people are traveling, they do not actually knock into each other. Uh, they do watch out for one another. So there's a, a sense of orderliness in spite of the, the way it looks like here. Okay. To asking one... Um we were asking quite a few people and we were asking them about how whether whether they would want to come to Singapore and some of them said they do not want to because they do not want to move away from their families. They want to stay with their families. So to come to Singapore is a very big decision for them to come to Singapore. So uh, what's happening here is that there is a performance uh, near the Hindu temple. Um, you know, there, there are very simple pleasures and um, things that the people in Chennai and in India do for their pastimes. And you remember that in Singapore, the Indians would go to Little India for, um, for their breaks on Sundays and weekends. And now that they are limited from going because the government has um, limited the number of buses to go there, you can imagine how we are actually taking away the little simple pleasures that they have. And I mean, you and me would understand that we want to be able to um, have hobbies and just take a break and I think it's human decency that we do provide that for others as much as we want it for ourselves. You can see in Chennai people live very hectic lives. Uh, it's a very crowded place here. Um, I think the stress levels here are very high where people have to constantly 
navigate the streets and not only that, the wages are very low. That there's this waiter that we know, he earns only 7,000 rupees every uh, month and that's about 150 Singapore dollars. So you see, not only do they have to earn low wages, they have to constantly struggle to make sure that they make ends meet in a very crowded environment. You mean because of the riot, now they stopped the work permit from Tamil Nadu to Singapore? Yes, sir. Oh, they oh. stopped the work permit? Yeah. Who stopped? The government, government. or Singa government the Indian government? No, Singapore, Singapore government. government. Oh, okay. Stopped the work permit yes. for... For now, new person. Oh, okay. Old Cannot. Uh, uh. Now, new person, they stopped... You think that is because of the riot? Because of riot. Oh, okay. Oh. Do, you, do how you... How you know this? How oh, you know this? Yeah, I met lots of people. My sister there. Oh, okay. She, there, she can tell all details about that. Okay. Oh. Because before I'm selling so many people on Singapore. Now, in a four months, I didn't sell even one person. Oh, you oh. you used to send people yeah. to Singapore I, to work? I get a manpower license also. I get central government license. All over the world, I can send the people. Oh, you have to Singapore, pay money to the agent to come to Singapore yeah. to work? But they are asking more. For women, it's cheaper. No need to pay any agent commission. Ah, okay. For men? Okay. Women, you pay 50,000, including uh, rental for a flight charge and everything. It's okay. uh, 50,000 rupees. Okay. Men? That men, you pay for 3 lakh rupees. 3 lakh? Three lakh. How much is 3, three lakh? It's so like uh, 300,000 rupees. 300,000 rupees. Oh. 300,000 rupees. Why the men have to pay 6 times more than the women? Because salary is going to high. They get monthly 50, 60,000 rupees salary. In a... Agent, you have to give for 20,000, like in uh, two lakhs, one and a half lakhs, with your commission for the agent. Oh, okay. Once you give it here, then you go walk on there, you have to pay there also an agent. Oh, oh so, side, you have to yeah. pay. Here, 300,000, that side? That is, you pay in a one month salary. Oh, one month salary. Yeah, wow. it's so, like okay. a 61 lakh, yeah, like that. Okay. So, in total, all together, how many like? It's around 3 and 4 lakhs income. Four, three, four, three to 4 lakhs. 4 lakhs income. 3 to 400,000 rupees. That's so you are saying that there are many companies which are not real, which are cheating the people. They're cheating people. So many people doing on that. We can send so many things on my Facebook. You can see in my Facebook. Do you hear of many people who are abused by these companies who are not real? Yes, there's so many people. We help so many people so like that. Mm. We need lots of people helping for that thing. Oh, then what, what do you think the, the governments can it's do? It's only for the government problem. Okay, how you can give a... Because when you need a, you know, work for me, that is the government make a seat. They make a signature. How government do that one? Without government, how would they deal? So the government need to... Government will take care of that. Oh, so the government need to take care of the people. Sure. Because I'm coming to work. He calling me. I'm coming to work. He only take care of me. Not for you, not for her. So if, if the Singapore government can do that, it will be it better be, for the workers. Better. In Singapore is coming number one in the world. For nowadays, it's already almost... Now the government, they would see, recently they was fighting. They hit the Tamil people's arm. It's actually it's not in a people on the walking. It's the government make it for this. You mm. want to do something, they want to show me our power. This New Year's Eve will be a quiet one for us. Now as we head back to Singapore from Chennai, there are some lessons that we have learned. You know, the reason why wages have been depressed in Singapore is also because of the low wages given to foreign workers. And over the past one year and more, we have seen the SMRT strikes, the, the riots at Little India, and we have seen three of Singapore's largest protests in the past 50 years. Well, there are many reasons why this is happening, and one of it is that we have seen the inequality in Singapore rise over the past 15 years. Now, it is time that the government stop taking knee-jerk actions and take concrete actions to improve the lives of Singaporeans. So, in this new year, in 2014, we look forward to a year that will allow us to have more say in our governance as well as to allow us to see higher wages and better standard of living for Singaporeans. Okay. It will be a quiet 2014 new year for us and we look forward to seeing more good things come to Singapore.